all right so I'm, I'm sure you must have downloaded the CRM server from the link below so once you get the file you can just run is as administrator now it is going to ask you a folder where it is going to extract all the files so you can create a new folder and click OK so now it's gonna extract all the files and then we'll continue with the installation as soon as the extraction is complete you will see this screen so it's always good to get updates from the Microsoft because if you have downloaded and Microsoft has released a new updates you will get that update so click on get updates for CRM and click next now it is going to check the updates from the Microsoft website so make sure you have internet connection as you can see it says no update is needed you have the most current installation files so I can just click next now it's asking me the product key so remember on the download page we have trial keys available that is workgroup and server so we are just going to take server now I will also recommend you to take server because for workgroup you cannot add more than five users but you should know what does workgroup means and what does server means so just copy the license and you can just right click and paste it is going to format automatically and you can see this trial will get expired after 90 days so you are going to get full featured fully functional CRM server application for 90 days click next you can read the license agreement enable accept and click I accept now when you are installing it for the first time on the server whatever the missing components it is gonna show you make sure that you are connected to internet because it's gonna download those files and install during this process system may also ask for restart so let's click install it says you need to download from the internet so click yes now it is going to download and install all the components which are missing now you can see that microsoft.net framework is installed but it's asking for reboot now if you still click install it will not move forward it means you need to reboot your laptop or desktop to continue with the installation so I'm going to now reboot my desktop and then we'll continue with the video all right so now I have restarted my system I need to restart the installation so go to the folder where it was extracted go down click on the setup server again follow the same process get updates click next and paste it here click next accept the license agreement i accept now the remaining components i need to install so click install and click yes to download all right so now you can see all the prerequisites are downloaded and installed so click next now you can leave the installation directory as by default you need this much space in the c drive where it's gonna install so click next now here these are the three different servers we talked about so remember we talked about front-end server where we have four roles we have back-end server with three roles and deployment administration server with three roles so you can either install just the front-end server on this server if you have planned to install CRM on multiple servers you can choose that secondly you can install back-end server and deployment server on the another server so you can choose the required options but as we are going to install all the components on single server I will choose full server it means it will install front-end back-end and deployment administrator on the single server so let's select this and click next here you need to enter the server name which is running SQL server now in this case we have SQL server installed on the same server so I'm going to put the server name so this is my server name and it's a new installation we are doing a fresh installation so we'll choose create a new deployment in case if you are upgrading or connecting to the existing installation then you can choose connect to but for this we'll choose create a new deployment click next now here you need to select the organization unit this should be the same as your domain so click browse now I'm going to use the root unit click OK so this mostly is taken care by the system administrator or the network administrator who takes care of domains so you just need to select the required organization unit and click next 
Now here you need to specify the service accounts. As you know, for all the Microsoft applications, there is a service running in the background, right? So these are the different services that are going to be installed. And Microsoft recommends that you should have different account for each service. So you should have six in this. We have six services. You should have six users to run these services and these should be different. So let me just quickly create users. So I'll go to start and write Active Directory users and computers i will expand tac i go to users right click click new and user the first user we are going to create is for application service so i can just give it a name application service and here i can just put app srv okay it's a short form app srv click next i'll just give it a password And we don't want this user to log on. So we'll say user cannot change password and the password never expires. This is important to consider because if the password expires, the service will stop and CRM will stop working. So make sure that password never expires should be enabled and click next and then finish. So you can see the user is created. Now here you need to enter the user manually. So what is the username? You can double click on the user and you can go to account here you can see it's tac backward slash appsrv so i'm just gonna put the same thing i'll put tac backward slash appsrv and then i need to enter the password which i have given while creating the user so this is how one application service is complete similarly you create one user per service and mention it here so i'm just gonna pause the video and i'm gonna create it quickly so that it saves a lot of time all right so now i have created six users in domain and i have assigned it against each service so given the account name and the password so these are the names i have given you can choose any name you want after once you have done this click next now you need to choose where you're gonna install in iis what will be the port of the website so for the demo purpose, we create a new website with the port 5555. It means whenever you access CRM application, you need to put the server name colon 5555. If you want to install it on the default website, then you can by just selecting it. But it's always recommended to choose the different port because in case if you plan to use default port for different application. So create a new website. So we are going to use 5555 the port. Click next. Now here you can put the email router server now if you have installed you can put but you can still leave it blank we can we'll configure it later so you can leave this blank for now and click next here you need to specify your organization details so first is the organization name so so in this case we will say tac arena demo company now this is the company we are going to use for the demo purpose so it's the unique database name is created automatically you can just keep it as it is the system will by default pick the currency which is your system currency if you want to change this you can click browse and you can choose which currency you want to choose so we are going to select the us dollars so let's select us dollars here it is and click ok and then you can just click next the next is the reporting server. So when you install SQL server, make sure that you install reporting server as well and ensure that the reporting server is working fine. Click next. Now, if you want to help Microsoft improve the customer service by sharing the feedback anonymously, you can click yes. I'm just keeping it no for now and moving next. Now, next is to choose Microsoft updates. Whenever you get any updates, it will install Microsoft CRM updates as well but i do not recommend we do not recommend as in consultants because whenever the new updates come we don't know what kind of changes it's gonna bring and whatever customizations we have done how it's gonna impact so we do the updates manually and make sure that everything is working fine so in this case i'm going to use no i don't want to use microsoft update and click next now the setup is gonna check system and make sure that it passes all the configurations now in case if you see any yellows it's a warning if you see anything red here you can see it is red it means it's an error and wherever you see green it means it passes those configuration so let's see what is the error here 
So click on the error and click details. It says the account specified to run Microsoft Dynamics CRM application does not have performance counters permission. The account that we have specified to run CRM application doesn't have this permission. So let's see how we can correct it. So to resolve this error, let's open Active Directory users and computers and it says application service. It means this one, double click and go to member of. You can see it's a member of domain users and we need to have performance counters permission. So click add, click advanced and find now. Scroll down, you will see performance log users. It means this user should have permission to create logs. So we'd say select this performance log user, click OK and OK and finally say OK. So now it has been added. Let's go back and try again. So click back and click next again. You can see that one error has been gone. This is application one. The another error is let's click details. It says doesn't have permission, same error, but it's for asynchronous processing service. So we go back to asynchronous processing service, members of, and click add, advanced, find now, and go down to select performance log users, click OK. And now this user is part of performance log users, click OK. Go back, click next. And as you can see that both the errors have gone now. So we have the next button enabled. It means we can continue. Let me just close this Active Directory users and computers. Now here you see one warning. So click, let's click details. It says the data encryption will be active after you install or upgrade. We strongly recommend that you copy the organization encryption key and store it in a safe place. So if you want to know more about it, you can just click here. So it basically makes sure that the data is encrypted. So if you want to see the details, you can just click on this link. It will not stop you from installing CRM. Click next. Before you install, it's give you warning. Like if you are installing on a server where other people are using some applications, it's gonna stop or restart these services like IIS, admin service, net TCP port sharing service, Windows process activation service, and worldwide web publishing services. So if any of the users using this server and using these services, you need to inform them that we are going to install CRM server. So you might not be able to access the applications that you're working on. So make sure you inform all the people. So this is very much required in the production environment. Once everybody is comfortable with that, you just click on next. Here you can see the complete configuration that you have done. Just click install. So now it's gonna install CRM server and it may take about 30 to 45 minutes depending on the server configurations that you have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to wait until it finishes. So once the installation is complete, you will see this screen. It says that the installation of Microsoft Dynamics CRM server has been successfully completed. Now there are some changes that has been done by this setup. So to make sure that the, all the applications areas are working fine, system has prompt you to restart the computer when the wizard closes. So you can choose this option to restart it immediately as you click finish or you can restart it later. You can just uncheck this checkbox. So click finish. Now the CRM installation is complete. So now let's see what it has done to SQL Server. So open SQL Server Management Studio and you will see that two databases have been created. One is MS CRM config which includes all the configurations related to Microsoft Dynamics CRM and one database is created for organization. So this is the organization. Now in case if you create another organization on the same server, MS CRM config database will remain the same. Only the new database will be created for the new organization. So similarly, you can create multiple organizations and every time you create a new organization, a new database will be created for that organization. So this is what happens in SQL Server. Let me show you how you can open the CRM application. So you go to the Internet Explorer or Chrome, any browser that you're using and give the system name colon 5555. Remember, this is the port we have given and you can see that 
the CRM is there. So this is a welcome screen. If you want to learn more about CRM through this screen, you can. It says this is a main menu, shortcut to reset work, add info and activities, advanced search. You can just click don't show this again and close it. Here you can see the CRM application has been installed, but there is no data. And you can see the different modules, sales, service, marketing, settings, and the help center. So the CRM application has been installed but uh, it doesn't have any data so that we'll see how we can install sample data in the later tutorials also i'm going to show you how you can run reports so the next step for us is to understand how to install reporting extensions so that we get by default whatever reports available so let me just click on sales and click on reports you can see there's, there's no report available currently so once we install reporting extensions it's gonna deploy all the default out-of-the-box reports to reporting server and those reports will be available here so that's it for this video now we have successfully installed Microsoft Dynamics CRM server in the next video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can install Microsoft Dynamics CRM reporting extensions so see you in the next video